What's going on, y'all? This is your Days of Our Live review for December 31st, 2015. Let's jump on into it, shall we? The last video for the for the end of the year. That's great. So, Kayla and Steve at the club dancing. Kayla and Steve at the club dancing. All the breath getting water. Raccoon avoiding jaw because she don't want to answer that question and she not trying to drink too much but I still say bitch you at the club how sick can you really really be what else happened oh yeah and Philip talking to Kate now let's see what he got to fucking say but I, mom I cheated okay Jennifer 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 don't worry I'm about how Chad the father okay. your daughter a hoe and so was you back in your days too when you were about her age and Chad is a father so you want to deal with it Miss Jennifer you and everybody else in your family that, that that's gonna find out sooner or later that Chad is a father of her baby live with it don't let that girl make a mistake, even though she making horrible mistakes. But let that girl make a mistake. Hey, is you on your period? Or are you just having a bad rough day or week or what whatever the fuck you have been? Cause now you're picking that bell. Cause feel up round round her and dating or whatever, but now you bad mouthing her. And a lot of people can say a lot of bad things about you, Kate. They didn't prefer not to say nothing, nor be around your witchy presence. But you, I think you having a bad, I think you having your time of the month in the year for you, honey. And you might need to go get that on checked on now. And Lord Chad then going on another date with Bill. Let me get this the top this when he fit asleep with her. He fit a half in the bed kissing on her and every girl fit to walk in on her ass. Walk in on them having sex. If it do I try not to laugh too hard. Cause that shit will be kinda funny. Well we see Chad and Bill getting closer and closer. But yet she didn't want nothing to do with it. But apparently he wounded, he wound your ass all over again. No matter how hard you try to play bell, you know you won't chat. And the look best thing, the worst thing about it, Abigail for the catch her out is, God, I'm I'm pretty sure she better go run and tell Chad that you that you that that Thomas is your son. I'm pretty sure she about to break her damn neck running right now trying to tell. But too bad she her eye fit to catch more than what she really in the scene. Whoop! And now they kiss. And this time Chad didn't have to go in. She went in for the kiss. Oh, and Abigail basically telling her mama, yeah, I'm a hoe like you. And what you gonna do about it? I got it from you. I got the whole being a hoe from you. And... I'm pretty sure we finna hear that we ain't gonna hear the end of that from Jennifer. I'm pretty sure. Like you know what she gets started and start talking fast and start stumbling over her words. All hell break loose for her. So what you want her not to tell her that that's our man's son? I'm pretty sure it was up to you. You wouldn't want her to tell her now, would you? Well, too bad it ain't up to you, Miss Jen Jen. Oh, so you can't get him back with your fitting wiles. You gonna get him back with Thomas, huh? Tell Thomas that that's his son. Oh Lord, what Jennifer crazy ass for to do now? This don't look good. I read the caption on this this episode talking about something fit to happen. Either Jennifer fit to get in the wreck or something bad fit to happen. So Raccoon finally talking to Joey. I guess Joey a little jealous cause she talking to somebody else. But Raccoon reminded him that you're not allowed to be talking to me in public cause I want nobody to know I know you. And now Finn up here. Oh okay. So Joey mad and jealous I guess. Cause he can't spend time with Raccoon in the, in the trash cans digging for crash. Digging for food. And this her second damn drink for somebody that's on their deathbed. They damn sure on their second damn drink. You must, I guess this illness don't bother you drinking right. Cause that's what it is. So, Kayla and Steve talking. And they are uh, they're talking and they said that if 
And even on her up and leave sooner or later, we gonna know she faking and we'll get to be able to run her out of town. Okay, y'all should have been able to know this con was happening when it came in y'all face. Steve was smart at the first beginning, and then he flunked, and then he flunked, and I guess a little batting of the eyebrows or whatever, and then she believed him all of a damn sudden. But y'all ought to know this whole ought to be lying. It shouldn't be rocket science to y'all too, but I guess y'all want to play crazy, so go ahead. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. So, Ava decides to see that Joey gonna be a big ass problem for her. So besides her avoiding the situation, she go ahead and tell him what's up. And then she getting close to him and she kiss and telling him Happy New Year's. And she just taught him a little few damn seconds and now he all back in love again like a little love puppy again. Yeah, you can see he gonna be very, very gullible when he get older. Wonder how old he is now. He let this woman then go up and let, let, let this woman then then go up and let the woman fool him this quick. Ooh, man. But somebody that sure wasn't gonna get to the marriage charm. You sure laid up in the bed with them, letting them kiss you. And I'm seeing your drawers and not Abigail at the door acting a nut. Mm mm mm. It's an emergency chat. You might wanna open that door. I know she interrupted you and Belle doing the nasty, was about to do the nasty. But that's important, this is an emergency. You better open that door, Chad. Belle can wait again. Hell, you getting up with Philip leftovers in him. Or shall I say Sean leftovers. But I don't think Philip had hit it in a while. So basically you getting Sean leftovers. And that what you want, Chad, oh well. Well damn, Chad, you put your shirt on mine and fucking quit. Oh, he asked her, what does she want? Oh, and she then walked in there on Bell and Chad putting on his shirt and Bell putting on her shoes. You're married. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Wait. Abigail, you ain't like you ain't never cheated before you was married. And then you gonna have nothing gonna talk about what she doing here. You barely know her. She married. When had they ever stopped you being a cat? Stop you, Abigail. Now you had her to be the saint hood. Now I'm calling that woman talking about she married. A hell of a lot of nerds. Don't call nobody out on their cheating. Abigail, you're looking like a hypocrite. Please stop by your head. Don't you do it, Abigail. Don't you do it. Now I'm on your side now. But you trying to call somebody out on their cheating, honey. And how many times we didn't caught your pants that we how many times we didn't caught your hand in the cookie jar? Now you wanna act all innocent. Abigail, don't do it. Ooh, Jesus, y'all done fell poor Eric. Y'all finna let him get behind the wheel drunk and intoxicated. Oh, Jesus. So now I see where the tragedy finna happen. So, um, I want to call him Jesus. So Eric finna drive drunk, and I guess he finna run up to Jennifer and make car wreck and about kill herself. And dummy finna end up killing his, about kill his damn damn wreck and about to hit her ass. Okay, now I got it. Why the tragedy finna happen? Okay, now they doing this goddamn interview. They doing this motherfucking interview with this lady. They asking questions. Nicole and Teresa can't get a word in edgewise. Got fucking cakes up there trying to take over the whole situation, the whole entire situation, fucking waiting. And up there trying to take over each damn answer. But if I was Nicole and Teresa, I was Nicole and Teresa, I would have been back to in her ass and put my hand over her fucking mouth. I'm certain. Because every time they try to enter here, she go drop a hook. I ain't gonna need my sex, Kate. I ain't gonna need my sex. Kate keep on answering all the damn questions, basically. But if that was me, I'd be stepping all on her goddamn toe, like, shut up, bitch. Let me do. I hope they cuss her out. I know they ain't. Jesus. Teresa, so pour some wine on her ass. Y'all ought to spill some wine on that hole. Just for doing that ignorant ass shit, but trying to y'all trying to answer the question. This bitch answer more questions than y'all did. Like she the lead bitch in charge. Yes, you ought to do everything yourself, bitch. Who the fuck you think you is, Kate? 
I know you old and I know you elderly, but goddamn bitch, ain't nobody got made on that damn shirt for you to be up there talking about having somebody sit there waiting on you. So cut it out, Kay. You ain't all that in a bag of fucking chips. You're elderly and you old, but you ain't all that. So I'm gonna need you to calm that down, Miss Ann. Your personal okay. Today, you can get a room later, okay? We need to discuss some things. Oh, really, Kate? Ooh, Damn, Nicole done got crunk. She done bust the damn bottle. Okay, now, Nicole, get in that ass. Go ahead, now, Nicole. Dig all the way up in that. Oh, Lord, not Bill feeling guilty because she almost slept with Chad. Well, that's your own no. damn fault. And here come Philip to make you look like the ass you deserve to feel. Look, I'm really sorry that I left you know So we're getting the chat and Abigail and they getting in. I came here to tell you that my son. Tell him, Abigail. There we go, Abigail. Good job. We ain't keep the promise. You are the father. And we need more to get you the DNA results this time. Oh shit now, go ahead Chad, you are father all over again. Oh my gosh, Eric, no, no, and fuck no. Eric, no homeboy. Oh my Jesus, and you're Brady, so that means you fit to get off. Even if you about kill Dingy and Brady, you fit up, dead, gone. Here it go happening. Jennifer. Ooh. Oh, Jennifer. And Eric all drunk. So you already know. God, Eric is a Brady. And you know, St. Hood, Jennifer ain't going to do nothing. She going to let this slide off too. But anywho. Eric free to get off there because he all Brady, of course, and basically the Brady is running the police station. And I guess Abe going to try to talk it down to talk the charges down for community service or something by saying he a pillar of the community or some bullshit. Well, let's just say um, Eric ain't going to spend a day in jail. But if he's lucky to spend a day in jail, it's going to be what? A half a day? About 30 seconds? Maybe a minute, and then he gonna be out. But yeah, that's about all I got for y'all today. Like this video, share this video, comment, let you know what you think about today's episode. All my social media is down there in the bottom bar. I appreciate y'all for watching my videos and all that. It means a lot to me. And I should continue to do it for 2016. And I hope y'all have a good, happy new year and enjoy the rest of your night. Bye.